ready? Remember what father said. If we finish our chores in time, we'll have time to go look for a tree. A tree! Help your sister get ready. Of course I will. Come on, Slowpoke, and don't forget to check the fire. Put on your boots, Emily. You'll ruin those shoes if you go outside in them. Nothing's been the same for me, Molly. I doubt I'll ever be able to fill this emptiness. It's not enough that my heart's broken, but to watch our girls go through this. They come home from school, they don't play with friends, they help me with the farm. Sarah seems to be coping. She's taking on the role of cook and housekeeper. With the assistance of, of Emily, of course. I worry for him. Most of all, Catherine. Especially as we come up on this. First Christmas without you. Yes, ma'am. Found her stuck in a small ravine just past the ridge. Back safe with her mama now. Papa, Papa, Papa! I'm not milking that blasted cow anymore. Sarah, starting tomorrow, we're swapping chores. I'm cutting the wood. <sighs> she keeps knocking over the bucket. I did everything Mama taught me. Did you milk her clean? Yes, but we have nothing to show for it. Well, look on the bright side. Now there's no waiting for the cream to separate into butter. And since the work is done... We can go get a tree! Hurry up, girls. Time to go. I hope Catherine doesn't ruin this for the rest of us. Remember what Mama used to say? Pray to have eyes to see the best in people, a heart that forgives the worst, a mind that forgets offense, and a, a soul, soul that, that never, never loses, loses faith, faith in God. God. Don't fall too far behind, Cat. Cat, 
Come on. Cat. Catherine. I think it's perfect. What do you think, Kat? <laughs> well... What do you think, Kat? What do you think? Huh? The tree, what do you think? It's all right, I guess. Just all right? Well, I better get a second opinion from your sisters. Sarah, Emily! What about this one? We need a bigger tree, Papa. This one's not much bigger than Emily. All right, well, suit yourselves, but remember, you have to haul it home. And by we, I mean me. Look at that one, look at that one! Oh, Papa, this is it, this is the one, it's perfect. It is perfect. I think you're right, girls. Catherine. Good enough for me. Let's cut it down, shall we? Sorry, help me out. I wish Mama was here to see you. Well, she's not. Catherine, come on. Mama's gone and she's not coming back. Catherine. I'll go talk to her. Maybe she needs some time to herself. Can't wait until we can decorate the tree. Now we got a lot to do when we get home with chores and preparing supper. But tomorrow, as soon as the chores are done, we'll make a day of it. How's that sound? Yes, Papa. That sounds great. Right, Emily? <sighs> I'm chilled to the bone. Do you even know what that means? Yes, it means my bones are chilly. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Mommy used to do. Now, Papa can find his way back home through the darkness. I love Christmas. It reminds me of Mama. Christmas was Mama's favorite time of year. She always found a way to make it extra special. It doesn't seem right. What doesn't? Mama died in the spring. During that time of rebirth and renewal of life, to have to bury someone in a cold, lonely grave. Catherine. I'm going to bed. Mama isn't cold and lonely, is she? I would hope not. Thank you for the candle, girls. Always makes finding the house so much easier. Where's Catherine? She already went to bed. Hopefully to sleep off some of her foul mood. <laughs> Why is Catherine always so mad? I don't think she's mad, honey. I think she's sad. Anyway, it's probably best for you girls to turn in as well. We have a big day ahead of us. Don't forget to say your prayers, okay? Dear God, it's me, Emily. Thank you that we could get a Christmas tree and that Papa could find his way back home. Bless Mama to feel loved and be warm and not to be cold and lonely. Bless Catherine to be happy again in Jesus' name, amen. Catherine, are you going to say our prayers? I don't feel up to it. 
Whitley, you never seem to feel up to it. <sighs> Dear God, Catherine didn't feel like praying tonight, so I will do it for her. Good morning, Papa. Guess what? Mama visited me in a dream last night. Did she? She sure did. She looked ever so beautiful. Her hair was long and shiny, and she laughed and played with me. We went to the meadow and picked flowers and laid on our backs and watched the clouds. That sounds really nice, Emily. Sometimes I'm sad Mama has to leave, but when I see her, she's smiling and happy, and then I'm not sad anymore. She promised me she would visit me on Christmas. Isn't that wonderful, Papa? Catherine, you all right? Catherine. Catherine. What'd you tell her? I didn't know what to say, Kat. Emily's faith never wavers. She's convinced that it's true. And how could I dash her hopes and break her tiny heart? Can I help? Thank you for all your help with the chores. It really makes things easier. Now, first things first, put a log on the stump. You got a plan where you're going to aim. Look for cracks or other signs of weakness. Best strike will be near the edge. You know where you're aiming? Now, hold the axe about waist high, left hand at the base, right hand at the top, away from you. Feet apart just a little bit. Okay. Now rise up on your toes. Now at the peak of your upswing. That's it. How can Emily be so sure? She talks about Mom as if she's still here, but she's gone. She's not gone. She's not. I see her in Emily's laugh. In Sarah's kindness, and in your beautiful smile. There she is. What are we going to do about Emily? She'll be devastated when Mama doesn't show up on Christmas. I don't know. Can I help you with your hair? Did you mean it? What you said about Mama being all alone? I don't know. Maybe I just feel like we're the ones left alone. 
I just miss Mama. I do too. We just have to be careful about what we say in front of Emily. Is it true that Emily is really convinced that Mom is going to visit us on Christmas? She is so convinced that even I find myself believing, or at least wanting to. If only it could be true, but we know it isn't. Right, Papa? Emily's always been a delicate, sensitive child with spiritual depth of someone much older and wiser. At times, her words are so simple, yet so profound. I'm aware of how very close she is to Heavenly Father's spirit and to your mother's. So you think it might be possible? I'm just trying to make the season as joyful as I can for my girls. But whatever happens, I have a surprise for Emily that will remind her of mother's love. Here, I think if you take one like this. Just pull it through. You have to be really slow. I think you try this side. There you go. Slowly. There you go. Here, I'll look for another one. <laughs> It's lovely. Mama's gonna like it very much. Yes. Yes, I think she is. expecting us till tonight. But that doesn't mean we can't get ready now. Can we wear the dresses Mother made us last year? Of course you can. They may need a little mending. Your girls have all grown so much. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Yeah, just like that. That's perfect. Hey, where's Emily? She went to go get another pail of water. Who's gonna break it to Emily that Mama isn't coming tomorrow? We can't tell her that. We have to tell her something. I don't know. I just don't know if we should. What's gonna happen to her when she awakens tomorrow and sees that nothing has changed? It might be a good idea to give Emily her gift tonight. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I wish we could tell Mama how much we love the dresses. I think she knows. Of course she does, Papa. Just because we can't see her doesn't mean she isn't here. I believe you're right, Emily. Perhaps she is often with us and we just can't see her when she is. Is it time to go? Almost. I have something special for you. Just for me? Just for you. What is it, Papa? Well, you'll have to see. Mm -hmm. Mama made this? Mm -hmm. She wanted me to save it for Christmas. Christmas Eve is close enough, right? It even smells a little like Mama, like lilac. That's right. It is what your mother smelled like. 
a treasure in this doll forever. Whenever I need a hug from Mama, I can just hug my doll and remember how much she loves me. I hope Grandma has her pudding this year. Mm, I love pudding. Just leave some for the rest of us. I can't wait to show Grandma my doll. All right, is everybody ready? Yeah! Uh -huh. Let's go! Don't worry, he'll be warm with me. See my girls. Oh, how beautiful you look. It made Molly so happy to make clothes for your beautiful girls. Wait until you see what Mama made me. Oh. Emily, what's wrong? My doll, it's gone! Do you remember when you last had it? Maybe you left it in the sleigh. What is it? Um, Emily can't find her doll. Oh, well. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Mm -hmm. If we all pitch in, we're bound to find. Yes. Let's go look. Yes. Hi. Emily, stay inside and keep warm. I'll check by the entrance. We'll find your doll. I'll look by the sleigh. Don't you worry. I'm going to find your doll. I'm sure it's just outside the house. Okay? Well, well. I don't believe we've had a chance to have that dance yet. Hi, Grandpa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> don't you worry, child. Your papa's gonna find your doll. Inside to make sure everyone's okay and to warm up a little. If I don't make it back in an hour, could you bring the kids home? Of course. Papa must still be out looking. You girls go change into your night clothes. I'll stoke up the fire. I'm sure your papa will be home soon. Don't be sad, Em. Papa can order you a new doll from the catalog. I don't want a doll from the catalog. I want the doll Mama made me. How disappointed Mama would be in me that I lost my doll. It was the last gift she gave me, and I lost it. I don't think there's much chance of finding Emily's doll. 
I don't want to build her hopes up, but I wish there was something we could do to make her feel better. How about some nice hot cider? And a cookie. Maybe a gingerbread cookie. Aren't they your favorite? All right. Hurry and go change your clothes, and we'll go get it ready. And don't worry, Em. Everything will work out. Come here, sweetheart. Here you are. Oh, sorry, sweetie. I looked every inch of the way from Grandma's house to here. It's just not there. It's all right, Papa. Don't be sad. That's my brave girl. Dear God, it's me, Emily. I don't mean to bother you, but I lost a doll. This isn't just any doll. It's a doll that my mama gave me. She lives with you now. Could you please ask her if she could help find my doll? Maybe from up there in heaven, she could see where it is. And thank you for Jesus. This is not too much trouble. Could you wish him a happy birthday for me since it's Christmas? Amen. Find a way home. Papa, isn't it okay to put a candle in the window? Yes. Yes, Angel, it is. There, that's much better. I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Is that what Jesus said? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just like that candle, he lights our way home to God. How silently, how silently the wondrous gift was given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessings of his heaven. No ear may hear his coming. But in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ enters in. I want to stay awake so I can see your mama when she comes. I know you haven't heard from me for a while. I'm sorry for being upset with you about Mama. I hope that you're real, and I hope that she's up there with you. I am thankful to have such a warm, cozy house with food and clothes. I am thankful for my father and sisters, 
and I'm especially thankful that Jesus could be born. Somehow, I feel a little guilty that I've only been thinking about myself when I should be thinking about Jesus and his birth. Maybe tomorrow you could help us find Emily's doll. In Jesus' name, amen. Believe in God. Believe that he is. Believe that he created all things. Is Mother here? Did she come the night while I was sleeping? I know you didn't really believe Mama would come, but I felt so strongly in my heart. I'll go fetch the wood. What is it? See, Mama did come. She brought me my dog just like I knew she would. I looked everywhere last night. Everywhere. Maybe it was a neighbor. But there's no footprints. Or snow on the doll. 